gotta go now, gotta go. Swerving in my whip, can't slow down. Driving fast with cars, boy, I'm on the road now. Automatic star, my vehicle take a call. Hey, what is up, guys, and welcome back to the Rose Session Central. I'm the Nigerian Nemesis, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a very strong three musketeer deck that you guys could be using to win you some grand challenge matches so here's the deck right here we have the three musketeers as our main damage dealer you can always cycle through to your miner as well to get a lot of chip damage off onto the towers and you also want to make sure that you use this miner to take down elixir collectors and then you have the goblin gang and the mini nord very good defensive cards the mini nord can shred through even the biggest tanks in the game and get it done nicely for you and then you have the battle ram of course so in double elixir time if you get the battle ram down on one side split with the three musketeers and then the miner on the up opposite side you can do so much damage so without further ado let's go ahead and hop into some gameplay and see if we can get some w's we are currently sitting at four and one in this grand challenge but of course i do want to start off the video with our usual question of the day this one coming from chris Liu, and he asked me if i could use or if I could change one thing about Clash Royale and add any aspect to the game, what would it be? And for me, I would definitely add Clan Wars. I can't wait for them to put Clan Wars in Clash Royale. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So once that does happen, Clash Royale will be absolutely amazing. So in the comment section down below, go ahead and let me know if you could add one thing to the game. What would it be? And we can talk about that. But now we're going to focus in here on this battle up against Mustafa. We're going to go with a battle ram on the opposite lane and get our zap ready. He has the musketeer over there. So we're actually going to go very aggressive and send our musketeer. And our left hand musketeer managed to log onto the tower and get a couple of shots off. And now our miner's doing some work to his musketeer. We've got to get our zap prepared. And make sure we can take down the musketeer so it doesn't do too much damage to our tower, of course. But it looks like he's not going to be able to support it. So I will leave that alone and try and get my elixir collector down onto the map. That's going to be the goal. If you can pump up and have two pumps by the time double elixir rolls along, there is literally nothing they can do. The three musketeers will continue to become a presence on the map and they will get into so much trouble. So let's see here. Let's go with a goblin gang. Good fireball. He's going to catch a couple of our goblins there. And he's going to get a nice little log off as well. But not too much. Not too bad. Not too bad. He got two shots off onto our tower. I'm definitely okay with that. Let's go with an ice golem right here. And he just he just fireballed. He just fireballed. We're actually going to go all three musketeers on the same side. And then we'll go with a battle ram as well. See if we can take this tower and take advantage of him using that fireball. And he's probably going to play musketeer. Not musketeer. He's probably going to play the... Uh, Valkyrie, but I'm okay with that. We've got the minion horde over the top now. That'll be able to quickly shred the Valk. No issues there, guys. We've got the musketeers, all three of them. We've got the minion horde. We've got all of that going down, and they're going to do so much work against the tower, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Firing squad. Down goes the first tower of the game, so we're going to go with the collector in the back now and get ready for that hog, right? We also have to make sure we have our goblin gang, but here's the thing. I'm going to predict that log. Yep. So good log on his part, but we're going to go... Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, I'm such an idiot. So we accidentally played our Goblin Gang a little bit too early. Let's go with the three musket. Oh, well played. He's going to catch us there. He's going to catch us there. We got a little bit too aggressive. And that Goblin Gang came a little bit late as well. So big mistakes this far into the game. Let's go with the Battle Ram. And Collector. And hopefully that Valk doesn't get anywhere near our Elixir Collector. Otherwise, that could be a little bit annoying. Let's go ahead and get down the Minion Horde now for that. And then we'll go with the Goblin Gang for the uh, Musketeer and the Ewis. That should be able to take it all out. And then we've got to get ready and get our counter push going. So here he goes dropping off the musketeer once again. We'll go ice golem right here. We'll split up the musketeers. Send two to the right. And we'll go uh, battle ram to distract. He will send off a fireball. Definitely okay with that. We're going to go miner and horde. So Miner and Horde coming in here, boys. Can we get the job done? We've got three minions alive. That one Musketeer is also going to do some work. She is locked onto that tower. That's what I'm talking about. Firing away. She will almost take the tower all the way down. And we're actually about to get a three crown here. Three crown. Just like that, guys. So we were able to pick up a three crown victory. Very solid stuff there. Almost costed us the game with that very valuable log. So well played on his part. But that's going to push us up to five and one in this grand challenge. Let's keep on going and make sure we can put on some work on these boys. Throw it on the road sessions. Up against Skyliner, Ober, from Ober City Flex. Once again, no one looks to click through in our starting hand, which is not usually the best thing in the world. But we do have our Ice Golem, so we can cycle this out of rotation and use our Goblin Gang to defend. He's got a Bandit coming there. Unfortunately, we don't have the Ice Golem anymore, so we'll go Goblin Gang. 
and zap. We'll zap this down and battle ram. So the battle, uh, the bandit will get a dash off onto our battle ram. Not the worst thing in the world, but our battle ram will not get to the tower. He's gonna drop off an Ewiz as well. So good Ewiz there. We're actually gonna have to use a mini horde. So horde going down. Let's drop off a miner to the inside and see if we can get some damage onto this tower. We don't have our zap, so not much damage will be done here. We should be able to take down his bat, though. So bat's going down, and we'll get. Okay, no, we won't. We'll take out his bandit, though. That better not get a dash off. Oh my goodness, that got a dash off, guys. That's insane. So let's get our elixir collected down in the center and regroup, recharge, and get right back into this game. I don't want to. I want to make sure. Uh, we'll go collector in the center. If he has a fireball, that's going to be annoying because he's going to hit that tower. But I also didn't want to play it in the back left in case he had a rocket. So here we go. I think we have an elixir advantage for sure. So we'll go ice golem right here. Split our musketeers in the center. Right here. We'll send one to the right. Oh, wow. All right, so Goblin Gang going down. We don't have enough elixir to get to our uh, to the troop we want. So we've got our zap ready for the bats. So zap going down here. And we should be able to take down that tower, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Both musketeers firing away. That's going to be the left tower and the first tower of the game. Bringing it back in one push. And we were able to take down his bandit. So that's very good for us. He has that poison now, I know. So I will go with a elixir collector to the left-hand side this time around. And make sure we have enough elixir to play our minion horde, which we're going to do right here, actually. Take down his goblins and take down his uh, miner. So let's go collector in the back. And here we go. Here we go. We could probably go with a three musketeer cheese in the center, but I don't want to do that too early and get counterattacked. So we'll go Ice Golem here. That'll distract the Ewiz. We'll go Gang Split. Oh, nice try. We're gonna go Battle Ram here. And then since he's coming in super aggressive, let's go Three Musketeers all in the center, boys. Now that the tower is locked. Oh, no way he played that on time. Let's go with a Miner here. We got a connection off with a Bandit, though. Or with the Battle Ram, zapping down the Bats. The Musketeers will actually do a great job at taking down that Pekka. That's what I'm talking about. So we're going to go Collector here. He can get his Poison value. I'm definitely okay with that. We'll go with a Goblin Gang now. And Ice Golem here. And it looks like we should be able to defend for the rest of this game. And just in case, I will play a Battle Ram. I don't want that Bandit to get some sort of a random dash off onto our tower, even though she's nowhere near. And we'll go with a Mini Horde in the center. So that's going to be another very good game. So you guys are starting to get the idea of this deck. You want to make sure you get that Elixir Collector down and split up your Three Musketeers the right way. Never give them too much value, otherwise you could be in big trouble. But now we are up to 6-1 in, in the Grand Challenge. Let's go ahead and hop into the third and final battle of the day and see if we can go in with a clean slate and maybe even move on to 12 wins on my own time. But here we go, hopping into the final battle up against Negan from Canadian Savage. And let's get an Elixir Collector down. We finally have it in our starting hand. So Collector is down. He's probably going to send in a Miner or something like that. Golem. All right, we'll go Battle Ram on the other side. Force him to respond to that. We've got our Zap prepared. Battle Ram gets a connection off. He has to play the Wizard there. And one of the uh, Barbarians will actually get two shots off on the Wizard. So I'm definitely happy about that. And we'll go Ice Golem. And then split the Musketeers here. Wow. That's unlucky, but no, that one Musketeer went by herself. And he's going to zap that down. So let's go ahead and send off a Miner now. That one Musketeer will be able to do a decent job. Uh, not the best in the world, but he's getting a lot of damage off with that Golem, guys. So once again, just a lucky time Fireball, in my opinion. Luckily, lucky Fireball. So we'll zap this down. We're losing that tower 100%. So Battle Ram going down now, guys. We have to make sure we can get this tower right back here. Otherwise, that's the end of the game 100%. So Musketeer is going in. That's what I'm talking about. We will get a Battle Ram connection off onto the tower. And he was actually forced to bring out that Minion Horde. He definitely didn't want to do that. So that's a very interesting deck. I'll give it to him. So we'll go Ice Golem here. <laughs> we'll only distract one Minion. So definitely not worth it. Uh, we'll go with a Collector in the back. And regroup, guys. Regroup. Here we go. Man. That's tower gone. That might be tower gone. Let's go Ga gang right here. Both of those Elite Barbarians are still locked on. He's going to zap it down. And we are definitely in trouble. We could probably bring the game back if we get three Musketeers down in the center. But I don't know how good of a play that'll be. But we might have to risk it. So we're going to risk it all for sure. <laughs> While he's laughing. Three Musketeers going down in the center. We're bringing that game back instantly. That's what I'm talking about. We'll get a little bit of damage off. Not the best though. Not the best. So we're going to have to get our Miner down. 
Miner. Battle Ram. And we'll go Horde right here. Zap. Get a connection off, guys. That's what I'm talking about. One of those Barbarians will do a little bit of work there, too. And we managed to stop the Golem a little bit in his tracks. We've got to get ready for our three Musketeers to get them down in the center once again. Because we need to take this tower, guys. He's going to get his Fireball ready, but can he get it out in time? Not in time. That's going to be towered down. That's what I'm talking about. Bringing this game right back to life. I should have went Miner on that back tower. Let's go ahead and get down our uh, Ice Golem here. Gang here. And we've got to go Minion Horde as well. We could have zapped, but I don't think it was worth it. Our minions should be able to do a good job here for us. That's what I'm talking about. So we're going to go Battle Ram on this side. And see what he has to defend it with. Dang. Alright, we'll go here. I don't think he's going to be able to get that Golem down double elixir though. So we're going to go all three Musketeers. Oh, there's the Golem, guys. We got all three Musketeers down, locked onto the tower. We will get a lot of damage off since he did play the Golem. All three Musketeers locked on. We've got the Goblin game. We've got the Zap. Let's go ahead and tap this tower down, guys. Three crown. Let's hit him with the crying face. That's what he gets for BMing us all early on. Let's go ahead and spam that down. Give him a little bit of a piece of our mind, but that's what I'm talking about, guys. This deck is absolutely powerful. We are now moving on to 7-1 in, in the Grand Challenge, but I will finish that on my own. So here's the deck for you guys. Once again, you've got the Ice Golem, Goblin Gang, Minion Horde, Elixir Collector, Miner, Battle Ram, Three Musketeers and the Zap Spell. So if you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for some more future daily Clash Royale content. And I hope you guys go on and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace!